Hi all, so now we're going to build um, the Von Ryan's Leapens. Thank you, there we go. The Von Ryan's Leapens from number two. Um, if you haven't seen it, but last week you would have seen the building, not last week, yesterday, you would have seen the building of number one and last week you would have seen us opening both of these. Um, so we're going to build this one today and hopefully I won't mess this one up like I did the other one. So, I'm assuming they all build reasonably the same. They're all different yes. ones. They'll have slightly different Oh yeah, different there are poses, different ones. Yeah. But oh, cool. They are most. They should mostly slot together the same. Cool. So, I think I'll let you do the cutting so that okay. I don't cut the wrong bits off again. So we want one. Two, excuse me. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. That makes okay. it nice and simple. So there's a locked. Ah, there's number two. I tend to spread them out all randomly on these because I've got number two next to number five and number 17. <laughs> I but, guess it's whatever fits on easiest. But... Yeah, because of the different shapes, they have to make sure it all fits in together to try yeah. and save on space. Yeah, which makes sense. But that's so... number two. Okay, so two's going to go that way. And number one is... Okay, two goes ah. up that way. And one's yeah, a big number one. one's a big one. Okay. Done. Snip these bits off gently, because that one's like near an arm. Or it looks like on the little claws. So these ones are going to have a bit more delicate parts to paint, but they've still got large bits of carapace. Okay, so that goes that way, and that one's going in there. Like but there's that. number three. Oh, it's a little tiny, tiny thing. Yeah. So lots of ah, little claws. Okay, that and slots in nicely like that. Sits along the ridges there. There's number three. Three tiny goes this side and it goes that way round. And yeah, so these into ones will bit. normally have like lesser pieces to push together. As you can see, it's just a few steps the whole model but they tend to be a bit smaller because they are smaller models we we'll probably compare them at the end to the wing tuned prime from the last video just to show you the sort of size difference between the two i oh, can't make this one go in do you want me to try yeah it's just the other side of this oh of the mouth. Bit, yeah. yeah but i can't seem to make it do it There we go. It goes at a slightly different angle to the oh, other one. Oh, okay, that's why it wasn't going in, because I was trying to line it up straight. Okay, there's, then we want eight and four. Eight and four. Okay. Uh, what kind of pieces are they? One's a leg, leg. and one's a talon or something. Uh, yep. So, uh, yep, there's number four. Looks like four goes down and this bit. That should be pretty simple. There you go. Yeah, if you want to see like, uh, if you enjoy video games and want to see like lots of tyranids and see how they tend to move about and fight, the new uh, Warhammer game Space Marine 2 has actually got a lot of tyranids and they're very well detailed. Yeah. I think someone I follow on youtube was playing that recently or on twitch because um, i saw a warhammer title in their gameplay uh, it probably was the new one then because a lot of people have been playing it recently because it's it's a very good game it goes back to like the old just old school shooting and well first person third person shooting type games like the old gears of war and oh, halo shit, type games something. without yeah. needing like it's not a lot of shooting games these days are either battle royales or something like that. Yeah. So. I mean, we both know I don't do shooting games because. Yeah. I suck. <laughs> uh, I panic, and that doesn't work well. This game is also quite a lot of melee, which is very fitting for Warhammer, especially as Space Marines tend to carry around a melee weapon with them quite often. <laughs> and I mean, I kill well. one person in Fortnite, and that's because everyone has lined them up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really bad. Right, and that goes up 
that way and yeah, so maybe I'll let you have a go on space which on one's the it evening. going into that one or that one uh let's see it I looks it's like it's, it's is this the arm or the leg this is number eight the arm uh, Sure, it might be the what's the other piece? Yeah, I think six goes in the very top. It looks like so it goes in that one. There. So yeah, I think it goes in the second one. Probably should have given a more side-on view for that. Yeah. After that will be five and nine. I keep holding it upside down, and all the numbers are upside. <laughs> Yes. No, it's not in. Oh, put it in. What sort of angle does it want to go at? It seems that the spiky thing goes down the same ah. angle as the leg, but I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's meant to... Oh, that one's for five and nine, so yeah. eight is... Mm. would be that blade, so I think it sticks forwards a bit. Yeah, so it's sticking on completely the wrong angle. That's fine then. It's tough that one, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah, it goes down past the knee a bit, it looks like. Right, and then this one, this is the other leg, so that's going to go in that one there. I'll look for number nine. There it is. Yeah, this one's got a lot of little blades on the elbows and on the little joints on the talons. Oh, yeah, it's just all very fun to paint. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Right. Yeah, I want one in here. Yeah, oh, that's good. I think it's because I had the other one to show me what angle I should be doing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, next are six and seven, which should be the bigger, thicker claws, it looks like. Yep. So, so the ones yep. that go in the other two holes. So this one's oh. number six. This is a really quick build. Yeah, a lot of the smaller models, they tend to try to make quicker because, especially with Tyranids, it's a horde-based army, so you have a lot of units, uh. especially the small ones. I think, like, each squad, or each unit Which of... Which number is this one? Uh, six, six, so that one. Because, uh, like, each unit of Tormagants and Hormagants, I think, are, like... 10 or 12 in each unit. Oh, that's a lot to paint. Now. Yeah, and you normally have like four or five of these uh, units, and Should so that's that like bit 50. Be snipped off. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. So, yeah, you'd have like 40 or 50 of those. Oh, that's a, definitely a lot. So, yeah, they try to make them easy and quick to build, although those ones I think are glued together. You need a suitcase to take your um, models with you to play a oh, game yeah. with your mates. A lot of them will have. Suitcases with foam cut out bits for you to slot all your units oh, in. Oh, cool. So, to have make it easier to carry around. Especially as seven. some people take multiple armies. So, and especially as most uh, tournaments. I'd have to put cheat seven. code on the bottom of the base telling me which each one is. Because <laughs> I'd forget. <laughs> There's seven. It's a. What's it look like? No, tell anything. Ah, okay, it's a stretched out talon. Ah, that one there. That made it a lot easier to see. Yeah, do you have a stuff on which one to cut out? You can always just look at the... Obviously look at the thing and see what sort of shape it is. And that can make it a lot easier to spot bits. Because a lot of the times they'll have very distinct sort of shapes. Just to try and make them stick out, because they want you to be able to identify the models fairly easily, especially yeah. in tournament play. If you want to know what sort of weapon or 
melee equipment or even sometimes which armor pieces your opponent might have for you to decide on what to do for roles or abilities so they try to make them look very standout I have a question if two people are playing the same army and they've painted them same how do they keep track of who's as who's uh normally some people have something on them to look after and for mine uh because i also want to know which squad they came in i like paint little tally marks on certain parts of the models oh. some people just paint a lot of uh people who do tournaments and that will also just slightly kit bash their models they might add something like some people turned all of their tyranids into xenomorphs so they oh. kit bashed all the heads to be like xenomorphs and all the tails to have the xenomorph tail Oh, yeah. And so they, all of their tyranids were just xenomorphs. <laughs> and one person painted all of their uh, League of Votan, which are their dwarfs. They painted all of them in a Christmas theme. So they were like elves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that was kind of cool. All of their vehicles are like uh, sleigh looking. And so a lot of people paint them in ways to make them stand out, to make them unique. So they don't lose So them. I would totally paint mine in a Halloween theme then. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, so it helps identify them from any other groups in them, which is also why in... Neither the leaf I stabbed myself with that, just now that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even in a lot Calm of the down. lore, they tend to like leave a space, because like Tyranids, their hive fleets with splinting off factions, which evolve differently based on what they're facing. So a lot of people will just paint them different and law wise it'd be they just adapted that way for some one uh. reason and in for space marines there's in the law there's two lost legions which were wiped from the record so in law it's for people to make uh before they made also like sub factions it's for people to have one loyalist and one chaos faction but then they also just made it so you can have uh, all the original legions are split into sub factions and all that so now cool. people just like this is a sub faction of certain chapters and everything. Okay, right. So next one we want ten, eleven and twelve. There's like ten's the main part and then yeah. eleven is I don't know, a bit uh probably be a little face bit. bit again. And then twelve is this spiky thing again, the one face thing again. Try not to sniff off its back. There we go. And the back of its head. So that's number 10. Mm. 10, 11, and 12, yes. Yep. That's 13. Ah, uh, yep. 12 is the tentacle face bit. Yep. See if I can put it on this time. <laughs> yeah. Normally, as you line up where the thing goes with the armor on the face, it tends to be a bit easier. Ah, there's 11, which is the, uh, I think it's like the shoulder carapace yeah. and the ribs. Oh, yeah, shoulder it's and back carapace well. and ribs. Yeah. yeah, I've got it in this time. Yeah, so I see these are some of the style of models we'll be getting in this one, I believe, because that's... I believe that's Chaos Space Marines. Uh, that'll be Eldari, which you can tell. they Eldari are basically space elves, so they're very tall, thin, pointy ears if they don't have helmets on. Uh, gene Stealers, which are basically human Tyranid hybrids. Sometimes instead of a full invasion, Tyranids will send like one or two creatures there, which will then infect humans and cause them to spawn hybrids. So terraform humans. Basically. <laughs> and then they will slowly build them up until there's enough for them to basically make an uprising, take over, ready for a Tyranid invasion, and then they just mind control all of them to kill themselves in the bio pits. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And then League of Votan's your dwarfs. They're very capitalist centric dwarfs and they're all clones. <laughs> so and we're Why this one has a ring. <laughs> Yeah, that works quite well. It reminds me of um, Flight of the Navigator. I don't know if oh, you remember. Yeah, yeah the little means. creature he hangs off, doesn't he? <laughs> but these are much more evil. Flight of the Navigator, he was cute. <laughs> um, so then we want 
13 and 17. So it looks like 13's a leg, 17's... Yep. Is it an arm? It's, a, it's an arm, isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, but it's the same as the last time. It would be the middle arm. Yeah. So 13. Looks like it's That's ready it. to pounce. And it yeah. should be one of the thin arms for 17. Uh, yep. One of the smaller arms. Snip this from this side. Make it a bit easier. Bit tricky again. Yeah, yeah. that one. These ones look like they'll be a bit more difficult. So this one's the middle arm. Then take care not to put too much pressure on the talons if you attach them. Trying, dude, trying. <laughs> <laughs> See how they have this one angled. They have it slightly down. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Ah, uh, yeah, and the picture looks like it's facing backwards a bit in the second one. Oh, 14 yeah, there we go. Next. Looks like that's meant to line up kind of like yeah. that, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah. Okay, so 14 and 18. 14 being the leg, 18 being the other talon. So this one's a leg, is that 14? Yep, that one's 14. So leg. One snip. Two snip. Three snip. There's the leg. Okay. And another small talon. What number was it again? 14. 18. Oh, 18. Ah, yeah, so it is this one at the top. Oops. Oh, you okay? I, I, I took out the talon from the other side. Oh, <laughs> I'll put it back in. <laughs> yeah, the middle talons look like they're a bit fidgety to get in. Oop. Drop that one. I put the talon in, I take the leg out. If I put the leg in, I take the talon out. This is going well. <laughs> Maybe you put that talon in as well. <laughs> I promise you, this is easier than I'm making it look. I'm just really... I'm not even cack-handed because I'm not left-handed, but I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> but I'm just really crap at fiddly things right now. You know I've been doing bobbin lace all day. I think that's in. <laughs> so, oh. He's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so next should be the big talon claws, which I'm yes, sure. Sixteen is in. and fifteen. Yep. So sixteen. Here. And 16 is this side, so it's his right arm. Oh, and a bit off of that claw. There we go, 16. Okay. And 15, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Doing so well with this. I've definitely got it in the right position this time because I can see it's not going well.
Okay, you do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt my fingers trying to put that in. <laughs> I stabbed myself a few times. So this one's the right handed one. The right handed one, yeah. Okay, both of these sort of like aim. I'm oh, sorry, looking at the wrong one. These ones aim slightly forwards, it looks like. Yeah, over the top and forwards. So it should be that angle. See, he had one, isn't he? Yeah, one second. I think I might have snipped a, missed a bit on the snipping for this trick. I'll try his um, left hand. Uh, give it a little mm. trim, see if that helps. Yeah, push to fit ones are easier for some bits, <laughs> but it can make some of the more delicate parts harder to get together. Yeah, okay, you're doing that one too. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I just didn't snip it fully uh -huh. flush. That's why. As soon as I took off that little bit of plastic, it went in right away. So I'll do the same for this one, because I might have... I just flattened... Make sure it's fully flat. So yeah, that's my fault with the sniffing, it looks like. Well, at least you didn't cut them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, now we want number 19. And it seems to fit into the thing. This. Number 19, yeah? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Tiny little bit here. Make sure I sniff off the bits of plastic from the spruce. There we go. So 19 goes in here. Yeah. Oh. And then oh. he slots on them. He slots on them. Yeah, that looks good. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's this that's one. Number two. It looks cool. Okay, so now we want 20 is the big one, and then 21 and 22 is the same side bits as previously, so his mouth and his cap, cap thing. Yeah, the other side of his main torso armour. Yeah. Try and make sure I snip the bits closest. Nope. That's close. Stand down. Just to make sure it's easier to fit them, because that was obviously the problem with that last one. Yeah. Uh, I think that one's all snipped down. Awesome. So you could probably 21 and 22. Okay, 22. Yeah, he hangs the same. <laughs> question is how many people watching this know what flight the navigator is because they old yeah it, <laughs> you know because i had movie. you watching it <laughs> how many people watching this has used vhs that's oh my thing. god because that's now you're really giving me age away come on dude <laughs> come on, i used to watch on vhs as well. <laughs> the old wrestlemanias on vhs oh god i used to hate it when you watch that oh nan no, Dad used to have a few of them because we had WrestleMania 1, 3, and 10, I think it was. Probably. I hated wrestling. What was the other number? Um, It was 21 and 22. So you just done 22, we need 21. Oh. 
Oh, one of the feet already. You sure it's time to? Can you me one? Ah, thank you. Oh, wait, sorry, 22 I snipped off. It's 21 I want. Yeah, I yeah. was looking at the wrong. Oh, that's 23 I was looking at. Silly Billy. Yeah, 21. Ah, yeah, pair of piece part. Snip that close as I can. Then let's. Those are all as close as I can get. Thank you. So then we want 23 and 27. Yep. The feet and middle arms for the left hand side, it looks like. Yep. Snip that bit off the bottom. Yeah, there's the foot. 27, one of the middle arm pieces. Snip. Snip. Oh, this self wide leg now, I can't hang him. No. <laughs> I think we've established you put those bits in. I <laughs> could try this one once I've trimmed off, just in case, because it could have been that it was the bit of plastic sticking on that made it too difficult. So which angle did we need to be at? It looks to be like that. But I don't think I got it right. Yeah. You can look in this one as well for the angles there. It looks like it's aiming forwards a bit. Ah. There we go. Yeah. That'll slide in. Yay! I got one of them in! <laughs> I'm improving! I guess next is probably 24 because this is a foot. Yep, 24 and then 28. And yep, that looks smoothly cut. 28's down here. Got a message from Shannon at midnight last night. Oh, really? She got to see turtles on the beach, you know, when they get born and go out oh. to sea. And yeah. she got to see one mother burying, laying the eggs and things. It's all oh, done cool. properly, um, like non-disturbing from a distance with red light so it doesn't disturb them. It was really yeah. cool. She sent me video footage. Ah, cool. I forgot to snip this bit off. Double check this is flat. Does that still have a recycling thing for the spruces? Uh, what? A oh, Woolhammer store does that have a recycling oh. thing for the spruces? Some uh, of them do. I'm not they sure, I haven't faster. checked that. Because that'd be handy. No, I'm gonna knock the other one out. I got that one in. I don't want to knock it out. <laughs> so, this one aims. Okay, arm down, salmon, talon forwards. Thank you. Okay, so we want 25 and 26. This is a big, long talon thing. Very busy, 25. 25 is this side.
Okay, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really starting to like gluing right now. <laughs> I think that one's in. I'll let you do 26 too, because otherwise I'll knock out 25. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like it goes in at the same. Oh, I've knocked out 25. <laughs> <laughs> you did it anyway. <laughs> yeah, there we go. 26 went in a lot easier. Wonder if. Quite the right angle. Oh God, bit the ah, there we go. It Don't goes back that. a bit more. That's uh, my problem. Awesome. Okay, and now we need number twenty nine to go on the base with this. There's twenty nine. Okay. Oops, and that's the whole spruce okay. and. <laughs> Owie. I mean, two of the claws on that are designed to be as uh, Yeah, these are on. lethal. <laughs> That's it. You might do that bit. There we go. Uh -huh. Eh. Yes. Oh, I think it goes out slight of an angle because otherwise oh. it's hanging off the model. <laughs> okay. That way. Yeah. <clears throat> There we go. Now he's in the right place. So that's all three. And then... All spiky, painful monsters. But they're going to be really good fun to paint. Compared to compared that. Compared to wind. one from the number one thing. Yeah. Ooh. Obviously those ones look taller because their talons are spiked up. Yeah. And this guy's hunched over a bit. But yeah, so... But these are cool. Awesome, can't wait to paint them. Uh, I do here, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, next month we should get the paints. So, this shows the painting, the base coats, the shades, yeah. and the highlights. So, yeah. will we get the base coats first yeah. and then get the shades yes. another one? So, we'll get the majority of the base coats first, and so it'll be mostly the bigger stuff for each one, as we'll get Tyranids and Space Moons first. We'll be getting like the, they don't really show Tyranids on here, but we'll be getting like the burgundy and cream colour for Tyranids. And we'll probably be getting the blues and blacks for Space Marines. And the probably silvers and golds as well. As so the painting will probably be multiple videos. So like we paint the bases and then the next time when we get the shades, we'll paint yeah. the shades and then paint the highlights. Yeah, like That's cool because I the... keep the length of the videos down because painting all of it in one go would make a really long yeah. video. Because like in the previous magazine one they did that I was part of, they uh, did step-by-step -step bits as the paints came out. So like that one was less factions and the main focus on two of the factions. And so it would do, you get a few of the paints, it showed you the base coat on all of them, 
for like the main body parts and then you get a few more paints that show you where the detail parts are for secondary bits like you would probably get the silver and the gold afterwards and maybe the red and cream for the parchment yeah. and then in the later issues they'll bring the shades out and teach you how to shade on all of the pieces and then they give you layer paints and highlight pieces and teach you how to highlight them and possibly some uh technical paints i believe they're called uh, for like terrain bits like mm -hmm. this one it looks like they use the tarmac style terrain paints uh, so those ones will normally come near the end all right cool so several videos we'll do for them then which yeah. is awesome so yeah that's oh, yeah so yeah so it's about coming with the paint guides on how to do it Oh, yeah. that's good then. Ah, uh, so yeah, burgundy, cream and blue we should get in the next ones. Ah, cool. So that give us a good base to start with then, won't it? Yeah. And then you've got a few more read bits. Obviously all the magazines, the pieces will have. <coughs> so like the paint and build pieces will be numbered by the issue. And then law pieces will have Obviously, read will be law uh, for you to read and stuff. And then A would obviously be at the front. And then Imperium, so you can sort it by the faction. And then which part in that faction? This one's Imperium 2. I think the first magazine had Imperium 1. Yeah. And then you would sort them that way. They tend to mix Yeah, so that helps you keep everything in the correct positions then. Yeah, it's so easier storage in the binders. Like, this one is read C Tyranids 02 so this will be the second one for the Tyranids yeah so it's got a nice, nice way to keep it all together yeah yeah so it's like read Tyranids number three then yeah and there's a little hint at like the gene stealers and their tactics and all that and these ones are all red and blue yeah because they're all they're from a different high fleet so uh -huh. obviously yeah, Tyranids are split into different hive fleets. These are all part of the hive mind, but each has developed its own adaptations, such as particular psychic might or potent toxins. Mm. And they all also tend to have different colour scheme to differentiate them all. So that way people, when in the lore, whether it's in a book describing it or in art or anything, they see the colour or the style of it and go, that's from X fleet. Yeah, so that's quite handy then. Yeah. So then we've got the Tamagants and the Homagants, which you've mentioned before, haven't you? Yeah, so these will be the little guys. Tormagants are these, if they have guns, Hormagants are if they're melee only. But they're all the same. And what is ones. melee? Just swords? Just swords, or in this case, talons. Talons. But yeah, so these guys still have some talons, they're just the small ones at the back. Yeah. But these ones are melee only, so they have the big talons at the front. So they get uh. more like melee attacks. And then obviously that'll be the data sheet for the uh, leapers. And this is just an idea of some of the Tyranid units. I'm showing how oh, you dice yeah. as I think, well and Yeah, I think this is the stuff. Uh, Tormagants, Hormagants, leapers, the Wing Tyranid Prime. I uh, can't remember what those are. Those look like... Uh, they look like funky. Yeah. And that's, I think, the... Yeah, I think this is an image of what you will get in the magazine. Because that looks like, this looks like the combat patrol units. And that's the extra one they add on to the side. Because each faction will be, basically it's combat patrol plus an extra unit on the side. Ah. Usually a bigger HQ type unit. Cool. And then this is, I believe, uh, yeah, play A instructions too. So this will be... Uh, the play ones will also be labelled, so A will be at the front. Introduction 2 is obviously introducing you on how the game would work and roll and gives examples. And gives examples how it works, which is quite good. Yeah. So which the first good. one was obviously introductions 1, uh, going over how the Hive Tyrant and the uh, Space yeah. Marine would fight. So it's got them all in here. So, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously... What are the things we're going to get? And all of the paints we're going to get. So, yeah, so obviously, good example of the units we'll get in each of them. Yeah. And you can find a bigger image of it on the website. There are yeah. websites which list all of it. If there's like ones in particular you might be looking for, then 
you can see roughly where in the issue it would release. Yeah, so our next issue that's coming then, we're going to get five inferior marines, some kind yep, of card so things. Have... Yeah. And then the paints and a brush. Yeah, for base painting. And there will be the first issue comes in just two for the first two issues to because uh, normally like magazines and stuff will do the first two issues cheaper and it's to get people into it yeah. to start with the next lot of months will be four issues at a time so you can look at the list online for the whole thing but they do give info so we're going to get the these two plus be. two other ones yeah and it's a good way to check which order they come in as well yeah you're unsure yeah, cool Let's pull these back in so I can have a look, see at them. Try not to stab myself with any of them. <laughs> but these are cool. Lethal, but cool. Yeah. It's going to be fun painting these, I think. Yeah, probably should so much be detail in them. mid next month because it was. Well, the, I think these ones arrived, what, start of September? I yeah, think it was. That one. So we should get the next slot around the start of, all, uh, start of October. Awesome. They look good. Yeah. And because we're doing the premium subscription, which is, I think, an extra £2 uh, per issue, or it's an extra £2? Yeah, I think it's an extra £2 an issue. Uh, we get the premium model kits, which we showed earlier with the Hive Tyrants and awesome. Dreadnoughts and all that. Because you get two, I think it's like every four months you get two of them. And the first ones are like big units because it's a Dreadnought and a Hive Tyrant. And I think the rest of them have, uh, if I remember right, with a small group and a big unit or a group of big units ah, cool. for you to paint. Awesome. So. Hi. Well, we'll be back to paint these when we get the paints and show you the next mags when we get them. Which we said you think it's beginning of October? Yeah, I think it should be early October because we've got these ones early September and they come out once a month, normally around the same time, yeah. depending on postage. Once we've got the first lot of paints, there won't be such a big gap between videos because we're open them up, then we'll build them, then we'll paint them. And then by the time we've done them, it's going to be time for the next ones to come through. Yeah. Because so. there'll be a lot more. And most of the magazines each month, you'll probably get one magazine which is mostly extra stuff like more paints or brushes or other things. But the majority of the magazines each month, normally three out of the four, will be models to build. Yeah, so. And even those that come with paints sometimes come with a model pieces as well. Yeah, so eventually we should get at least one video a week, maybe a couple of video a week, some building and some painting. Yeah. Seeing how it goes. Awesome. Right. See you all later. And as usual, Kurt's probably not going to say bye. <laughs>